As teenagers, sometimes the world can be overwhelming. With busy schedules and high expectations, the average teen gets little more than seven hours of sleep every night. To get an idea of how much sleep teenagers are supposed to get on a regular basis, I spoke with Miss Malkin, a member of the counseling department here at North. So teenagers should get between eight and a half and nine and a half hours of sleep. The National um, Sleep Foundation is really clear on that and it impacts all parts of students' lives, and so it impacts mood. It definitely impacts concentration. It impacts learning, relationships, emotion regulation. It impacts everything. I spoke with some teenagers to see how they think sleep affects them. Sometimes when I don't sleep enough, there's like a dull pain in the back of my head, it's like kind of fuzzy, but it's okay because I can still do schoolwork, so it all works out. I feel like the less sleep you get, the more stressed out you are. So it's just not healthy and you're constantly tired. You never feel like you're awake. Lack of sleep, yeah, it definitely makes it more difficult to focus because I have to almost constantly remind myself, don't fall asleep, it's still school. You can wait until it's two in the morning. <laughs> My lack of sleep can make it harder for me to concentrate. Um, and when I do get a large amount of sleep, I always feel so refreshed and I feel like I'm ready to start my day. Some researchers talk about students feeling like they're in a haze and they're so used to it they don't even realize until they get enough sleep. And when they do, it's almost like when you get your glasses on, it's like, oh, <laughs> the world is a little clearer. So it's really hard, you're trying even harder and you're always behind. Although it may sound hopeless, it is possible to get more sleep. Here are some tips and tricks for getting to bed earlier. I usually leave my phone downstairs and like have it plugged in so I know like if it's plugged in, if it's downstairs somewhere, I'm not going to go back downstairs and check it. Some people swear by a warm bath or you know just something soothing, having time with their pet because that always just makes you feel good. The other thing that a ton of teenagers do is use their bed to study. If you're on your bed, you're gonna get tired because your brain and body, oh, it's bedtime, cool, and you fall asleep. If you study at a desk, you study at a table, you don't study on your bed, that also actually helps. Keep the bed for sleeping. I would definitely limit my contact with like electronic devices, limiting contact with screens because the light that the screens create it makes, you, it makes it more difficult to fall asleep. So if I were to go to bed early would help. If you don't want to go to bed early, it's really hard to motivate yourself. So if you really want to get more sleep, then you're going to have to plan your schedule accordingly. Good luck to all of you on your sleep journey. Reporting for Newton North TV, this is Lily Hachi, signing off.